Hey fools, Big T here and I'm back with another video. This one will be about uh, perceived Nintendo bias and also what I like to call uh, wiki YouTuber gaming experts. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. You know, obviously I am a Nintendo fan. It's kind of weird to even have to like, I don't feel like I have to talk about it, but I just want to put it out there just in case. Uh, people don't realize it. this is a Nintendo fan <laughs> gaming channel so most of what I talk about is going to be based around Nintendo and as a fan um, there may be a you know a slant towards you know Nintendo because basically that's what um, makes me the most passionate about video games especially nowadays the, they're the ones that motivate me the most at this point to even have discussions or even have a YouTube channel I couldn't do like an all-around gaming channel uh, because you know most of why I perceive in gaming today is not um, that compelling um, Nintendo is basically the company that keeps me gaming at this point I mean, I'd probably still be playing video games but it wouldn't be you know it'd be way more passive uh, than, than it is for me to play video games to you know without Nintendo around so you know if you are a fan of something, you tend to uh, give that thing more passes, more leeway than you would others. I mean, it's one thing if you're just like in the tank and or you just hate on everything else, which is something I don't do. Um, I have I take my issue with, uh, you know, certain third parties because I feel like they are a shell of their former selves or I just don't like their practices, you know, that. I don't just go out and hate the other. I don't hate on Sony. I don't hate on Microsoft, you know, because they have some things that I like. Uh, they give me stuff that you know they offer video game experiences that I like. You know, nowhere near, like I said, uh, what I get from you know being a Nintendo fan. But they still offer uh, something for me in gaming. So if it's something that I don't like or something that I don't care that much about, I just don't really talk about it. Like I don't understand. Uh, the people who like feed off of like um, just bad mouthing other things like you don't see me do that I mostly um, if I'm talking bad about something it's probably going to be something that I don't like Nintendo is doing and I've done that I try to be as fair as possible I try to be an even minded Nintendo fan I don't go out of my way to prove that I'm not biased or you know I'm not biased towards Nintendo which I feel like some guys do uh, for credibility, um, I don't do that. But what I do is try to be fair. Like, I took Nintendo to task on their ridiculous voice chat to the chagrin of many Nintendo fans. And I've talked about numerous things that I didn't like. Uh, one of the things being Al Numa, you know, when he gave that bogus statement about why. Uh, there was no gamepad stuff for the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild, and I call him out. You know, he said basically it was, you know, a distraction having to use the gamepad. You know, if you were being honest, you knew that that was crap because if you look at the Sheikah Slate, it is the gamepad. I mean, that it is the motivation for the Sheikah Slate, so you know that's why they did have the Sheikah Slate because of the uh, gamepad. And when the Switch version came along, they didn't want to give this advantage to the Wii U version because most people will be like oh well that's the definitive version and one that uses the gamepad and that's how I felt and then you know he came out with that bogus statement <laughs> which I knew was crap and I got and people got mad at me about saying and a few months later it he even admitted that it was true <laughs> he admitted in an interview that they took that stuff out um, because they couldn't implement that basically on the switch version um, and I knew that from the beginning. So I take Nintendo to task about things. Uh, one thing um, that I didn't like, I mean, I don't like that they do, but like I said, I don't, it doesn't bother me too, that much. And even as a YouTuber, it doesn't bother me is the fact that they claim uh, revenue from videos with their stuff in it. Now, there is nuance in that. Like I said, it doesn't bother me as much. Um, I, I've had claims from them. I've had claims from Sony and Capcom and stuff too. So, 
but I, I don't do videos talking about that because it's just not something I care all that much about. I don't really do this for the revenue. It's obviously that's a nice little thing to have. I can buy a game here and there uh, doing my YouTube channel, but that's not the motivation, you know, so it doesn't bother me as much. But, you know, it is an annoyance. But like I said, stuff that that's just not that big a deal to me, I don't really do much videos on. But I do feel like I, uh, I'm i fair when fairness is due. And, you know, the whole live stream thing now doesn't affect me because I don't really live stream. And uh, if I did, I, I wouldn't care for monetization from it because I don't think that many people would watch <laughs> me live stream anyway. But could, but even if they did it's like i understand because it's like i never had a problem with them wanting to claim videos i, I mean again it's it's weird because they don't even claim their own videos they don't have advertisements they don't make revenue off of their own videos and and some game some of these game companies do and it's just weird for them not to uh put ads on their videos but claim stuff from your it's just weird like why would you do that are you trying to it seems it's almost like they it's not the advertise it's almost like they don't want to like be striking people and have people in uproar over that and but they want to kind of in a in a soft way uh deter you from using stuff you know using their footage or using their game stuff like that so they just take the footage and they, or they just take the money so it's like okay well people aren't going to do it if they're not benefiting from it but for me it doesn't matter and a lot of people don't care, but so there is, like I said, there is bias. I'm not ashamed to say that I have a Nintendo bias. Um, there are game fans on here that do act like they don't have a bias, and they obviously do. And they try to act like there's some kind of in the middle of the road, neutral, and it's pretty bogus. Now, there are some that are, but I'm just saying that some of these guys, um, some of the kind of bigger ones who are clearly a Sony fanboy or clearly an Xbox fanboy or whatever, uh, try to pretend that they are somehow better than you <laughs> um, uh, because their bias is for those companies. So it's it's strange. But um, I guess the last thing I want to talk about is that um, when I talk about video games, it is my perspective is history. It is my own personal experience. So sometimes, you know, uh, I don't like write everything down or uber uber research everything now if it's something important and if i'm talking about a certain historic thing that is important and i have to get the date right or i have to get the numbers right if it's a sales thing or something like that i will um if i screw it up in the recording i will at least go back and like correct it on the video screen uh once i edit it together so that's one thing um, but like little minute details about certain things I may not research because I like being authentic. I like uh, when I talk about video games to, for it to be based off of my history, my actual history with it, my actual um, experience. And so when I sometimes when I talk about video or video games and stuff, it's from my memory and you can screw that up sometimes. But, you know, some people like to come try to, oh, challenge you on minute details oh this is wrong blah 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 stuff like that you know i call them wiki wiki commenters or wiki tubers where it's like um they run to wikipedia or something or vg charts or something like that and they try to come back at me about stuff and it's just like i can do that like i'm on the internet <laughs> and i can do that um but just for the like i said the minor things the stuff that's not you know, when I'm I'm talking about something, there's some there's just stuff around it that's not the main point of what I'm talking about. Maybe off here or there, but again, I like to be authentic. I like to pull from my memory, and you know, sometimes it's human nature. Your memory can be off about things, but it's usually something small. And I have all these fact checkers, you know, trying to like take me to task about that. But I would rather like get that stuff wrong than be this fake you know fraudulent dude who who supposedly has all this gaming experience um that he basically copied from wicked you know wikipedia or uh or you know google you know google searching or something um i like being authentic and sometimes when you're authentic you get stuff wrong 
but I'd rather be that way than some, you know, cold fact or numbers based facts are one thing, but cold, raw numbers based type of YouTuber because there's no authenticity in that. Like anybody can do that. Anybody can cl- come on here and claim I have all this gaming knowledge uh, when you can't check them. You know, it's like, you know, you can they can go research everything they talk about. And pretend that that was in a personal experience. And I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. I would rather get some small detail wrong than be some kind of robotic wiki YouTuber. Um, so, yeah, that's just, you know, a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Uh, I'm trying to stay true <laughs> to myself and not be some, you know, fake dude. Uh, I have a Nintendo bias, and but I still feel like I'm fair. Um, I have, I use this word a lot, nuance. That's what human beings have. You know, if you're a human, you, there's nuance. You, you may, you may, you may not like something overall, but maybe there are things in it that you're okay with. Um, there's gray area. Um, so, you know, I just try to keep it real. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, uh, in the comments below as always. Thank you for watching and listening and I'll see you folks next time. Peace out. Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo fools. Do 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 do. do.